Expanding Force one-shots you. Bolt Beak one-shots you. Okay, okay, I think this is my one win I'm gonna get. This is the one win I'm gonna get playing this team. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC video. Speaking of Tundra, yesterday I made a video discussing Hail Teams and how they may or may not be viable once more. And I asked you guys if you wanted to see me build a Hail Team today, and you guys said yeah, so I guess that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer the question of the day, which is, do you think Hail will ever be viable, and what are your opinions on this team? What is your, what is in your opinion the best Pokemon? Pokemon for a Hail team. I'm really curious to know what you guys think, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, I already have one Pokemon in the team builder, and that is Alolan Ninetales, and that's because Alolan Ninetales is just really good for Hail. Uh, it's able to set up Snow Warning and Aurora Veil very reliably because of its high speed tier. Uh, 109 is speed tied with Kartana. Unfortunately, it lost access to Hidden Power of Fire, so it's not like we'll be able to use that to beat Kartana, uh, but I know for a fact I want to run a Light Clay set. Um, but my, my typical team building style is like this, like I'll get everything in the team builder, like, oh, I know for a fact I want to run Arctazolt or something, and I know for, or Arctivision, I know for a fact I want to run Arcanine, and I know for a fact I want to run Arceus, like I, I would just throw everything in the team builder, and then by the time I'm like done with everything on paper, if it looks good, then I'll start making EV spreads and stuff. If you've never seen a team builder from me before, that's how I kind of do it. So, Alone Ninetales, obviously a very good pick. Um, as far as Slush Rush abusers, we do have a couple of really decent options this generation. Uh, Sand Slash is pretty decent, it's a Steel type, um, has ground coverage as well. I think Arctazolt is going to be my play though, just because Bolt Beak is so ridiculously powerful, it's not a terrible Dynamax option as well. Um, and just the fact that, hold on, does this guy get Aurora Veil? It does not. Wait, who else gets Aurora Veil? Because I remember seeing some really strange sets in 17 where like you would have Sand Slash. You would have Sand Slash set up Aurora Veil. If I can remember how to spell Aurora Veil. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? A-U. A-U. There we go. Aurora Veil. So we do have a couple of options as far as Aurora Veil setters. Um, hmm. I think it's... I mean, Frostlass is technically the fastest, but... That'd be really weird, not just having one Pokemon to set up both. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think we'll stick with the Ninetales. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're gonna, you know, change anything up, uh, change anything too far from the standard as far as Ninetales sets go. I definitely need to run Bolt Beak, and I definitely need Ice Crash for Stab. Uh, Protect is a very good option for uh, re like getting better board positioning and stuff. Uh, but my last move is pretty iffy. I I, I have a couple of good options, right? I could go for like max airstream. I think he gets. He does not. What flying moves does he get? He gets pluck, and I do not think I want to run pluck today. <laughs> I don't think I'll be running pluck anytime soon. Um, I mean, rock slide isn't terrible. Let me think of what what I really struggle with. I think my coverage move I'll pick at the end. Yeah, I'll probably just pick the coverage move at the end. I know for a fact I really want to run. Um, well, let's see what magic guard Pokemon are there with trick room as well. And we'll go in order of speed so we can get the slowest. I mean, Reuniclus is still the best option. <laughs> it's still the best option there. Um, Overcoat or Regenerator or Magic Guard. Magic Guard is probably better. In in the previous video, some people were like, hey, why don't you mention Magic Guard? Uh, I knew that Reuniclus got it and I knew I could use it to avoid hail. However, I didn't really mention it just because I felt that Overcoat was a bit more useful when it comes to stopping Spore from opposing uh, Amoongus. But... I guess I could run Magic Guard and probably put like a Life Orb on him, make him a very strong uh, Dynamax Pokemon. I could do that, but what would I run on you? I guess I could run... Um, I mean, I'm mostly going to be using Electric moves. I could try to run like Magnet, or even Muscle Band might not be terrible. Choice Bands, maybe, but probably not. Um, I, I guess I'll run Magnet. Uh, the the boost to the, to the Bolt Beak could be useful, but we'll see. I might end up changing that for like Focus Sash or something. Uh, I definitely need this safety goggles in Didi, and make sure this guy has Psychic Surge, or this lady. Magic Guard, um, I'm probably going to calc this to live like some kind of max move, or at least something very powerful under, like when I'm Dynamaxed, because uh, while Reuniclus is very strong and I can, you know, run Life Orb Magic Guard to hide the, uh, to hide the Life Orb damage and be really scary under 
Um, really scary under Psychic Terrain. I think it's in my best interest to not max out the special attack and go more for a bulky route, because he's still going to be doing tons of damage. And let's give this guy Expanding Force, <laughs> just so I don't forget. Uh, we already know what we're running here. Follow me, Protect, Helping Hand, and Expanding Force. So, what type of coverage do we have here? We have only one Fighting Weakness, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good so far. We have only one fighting weakness, which is huge for, um, that's pretty huge for a hail team. We have a pretty big rock weakness, and Tyranitar is kind of common. Let me look at what overcoat fighting types there are. Maybe I don't even need overcoat. Maybe I can run a non-overcoat fighting type, or actually a Scavalier. I definitely want the Scavalier, to be honest. The Scavalier is really good for beating uh, Glacier. And maybe I could run two Slush Rush Abusers and just have like a Trick Room mode in the back. That could be interesting. That might not be bad. Because, I mean, I don't have to bring Hail, but also I really like the Glacier option for the, the Trick Room mode. I might do that. I don't know. Let me let me see what I have here. So, if I run Glacier, um, I have a huge Fire Weakness. I could run Arctivish too. Arctivish might not be terrible for double double fossil abusers. <laughs> that, might be, that might not be terrible. Also, let me log out of this account. I don't want to be on my main account when I'm laddering here. Go on the alt Telemundo Univision. I've had some people uh, where they fight me on my Moxie Boost at VGC account, and they're like, are you the real Moxie Boosted? And I go, yeah, no one pretends to be me. And then they're like, nah, nah. That happened last night, but it happens a lot. Like, I, I don't, no one actually pretends to be me online, but... People, for some reason, like actually think that it's not me. Um, you know, let's just go Glacier. I think Glacier is not a bad option, but I might switch it to Arctivish, so I just have like... Because this guy's good under Trick Room too, even if we max out his speed. Like, he still works under Trick Room. Wow, 100 attack. I didn't realize it was actually that high. I didn't realize that was that high of an attack. Alright, but let's take a look. So, massive fire weakness, so I definitely think Rock Slide is going to be our best coverage here. Or even Max Quake. Eh, rock slide for flinches. We'll go with that. All right. Um, Glacier. I want to run the weakness policy set. I need ice go crash. I need close combat, protect, and max quake. So uh, stomping tantrum. Or actually, do you get? What is it? High horsepower. That's the move. <laughs> there have been so many times that I think something doesn't get high horsepower, and then I remembered every Pokemon is a horse. Look. Oh, it doesn't get it. Every Pokemon's a horse. Okay, well, my, my point stands. <laughs> a lot of Pokemon get high horsepower for no reason now. Snorlax is a horse. For example, Snorlax is a horse. Okay. Uh, we'll just max this guy out. Standard-ish set. I mean, I guess that is the standard. Brave. Zero speed. And a Scavalier. I want to go a little bit more in depth with the Scavalier to kind of fix the the weakness we have uh, when it comes to like fire types. Like I'm, I'm probably gonna invest a bit more in special defense just to make sure even when I'm Dynamax I don't get KO'd by certain things. Aurora Veil plus a Scavalier is gonna be really nasty. I can tell you that much. Um, I definitely need Blizzard. I might need Freeze Dry. That could be useful, but I might have that covered. So Blizzard, uh, Moonblast, or Dazzling Gleam. Either one might be better. Which one? Which one will be better? Let me take a look at this. Is there anything that's being follow me next to? Urshifu. I mean, Urshifu and Clefairy, I think, are used commonly together. Eh. We'll just go Moonblast. Yeah, we'll just go Moonblast for the extra power. And I can run Protect here, or I could run... I don't know. That Protect's pretty good for the Fake Out. Yeah, we'll go with that. For now, we'll go Timid Max HP for Special Attack, I guess. <laughs> now we'll go uh, for Defense. Snow Warning, Arctazolt is Slush Rush, max that guy out. So those guys are done. I want to calc for stuff with Reuniclus, and I, I am just for some reason always going to run this. Like you might you might think that this is suboptimal because I'm just running relaxed max defense. The hits that Indeedee can take when you run this spread are kind of crazy, so I'm just going to go with it. Overcoat, uh, we're going to fix this guy up, but I think his moveset is going to be... Why would I run Smart Strike? He gets Iron Head. Does he get Steel Roller? He does not. 
He does not get Steel Roller. Um, I definitely want... Do I want to run Mega Horn? I could run something else, if it's decent. X Scissor could be good. I think Mega Horn for the max move is probably the better option. Uh, close Combat as well, and I think my last move has to be Drill Run pretty much every time. Let's start calculating for this Reuniclus. So, what does Reuniclus not want to take? Its physical defense is pretty bad. I think most people are running special Dragapult. No, there's, there's still a decent amount running Jolly. I could try to calc for that when I'm Dynamaxed. Actually, why, why would I calc for that when I'm Dynamaxed? Because think about it, I'm going to be follow me away the hit every single time. Do I even want to calc for that? I don't think so. What is under Trick Room that would actually just completely destroy me? Not much. Reuniclus? Wait, hold on. Is Reuniclus actually that good in the format? It could be kind of nasty in the format. I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. Reuniclus might be the play. Dang, maybe I do max it out. I don't know. Let me see if it's possible. Because I won't always have that option. Um, Dragapult. Jolly Life Orb. It's mostly Life Orb, right? Yeah. Mostly Life Orb. And Phantom Force. What if I'm Dynamaxed? 252. I mean, he doesn't KO me with Max Phantasm now. That's already, like, enough. <laughs> That's already, like, enough. I might. I think I'm just fine with that calc. If he's not one-shotting me. Oh my god, can I actually max this guy out? Let me check this. Because I might want to re, I, w I might want to remove Trick Room in certain uh, certain situations. Whoop. Adamant Nature, Max Hailstorm. No, that doesn't KO me either, unless they have a weakness policy boost. So yeah, I guess I guess I can just max this out. That's kind of gross. Hold up, Reuniclus. Why is your HP so nastily good? All right, zero speed, and we'll go four defense. Quiet Nature. Relax nature, zero speed. Alright, a scavalier, we're actually gonna have to calc for you, aren't we? Scavalier. I wanna make sure I always beat Glacier. This plus two Max Knuckle. Close combat does more. I could just give it a little bit of defense, really, because I just wanna make sure I like never get beat by this thing, and I'm probably set. Because there aren't, I mean, Heatran could be an issue. I'll calc for Heatran as well, and then I'll just dump the rest into, uh, I'll just dump the rest into the, what's it called? <laughs> I'll dump the rest into the, um, special defense. Let's just make sure we live that. Okay, so we'll always live that with 44. We are running Assault Vest. Heatran, yeah, Modest, and I am running Assault Vest Dynamaxed. How much am I taking from a Heat Wave? What about a Max Flare? Oh wow, this thing can take some hits. Let me let me calc for Max Flare from a Modest Heatran. Okay, cool, 52. And then we'll just max out the attack there, so 252, 44, 52. And we are missing an EV because we're running zero speed IVs and we don't use any special attacks, so that's normal. Uh, Brave Nature. I'm one-shotting you, right? Brave Nature, Drill Run. How much attack do I have? 156. Attack, 156. Versus Dynamax Heatran. My Max Quake will most likely one-shot. Oh no, it's 30... 7.5. I mean, I can live with that as long as I'm surviving. I'm cool with that. Especially since it's it's a two shot. So under Trick Room, I'll, I'll always be able to 1v1. Um, of course, the max overheat, I won't be able to live, but I'm not going to count for that. That's a waste. Glacier. Let's see how that Dynamax goes off. Or let's see how that matchup goes off. Let's pretend he's at plus two. And Adamant. So, 
my max steel spike is going to be doing uh, 50% chance to two hit KO. What if it's, let me see something. So 22% plus, plus one. 68%. So it's it's still close. I'm not certain what that comes out to, but I think I'll I think I can live with this spread. Cuz I'll always want be one glacier under trick room, especially if I'm down max. So I think I am ready to start testing as soon as I actually give this guy moves. <laughs> trick room. Do I want to run focus blast for Tyranitar? Or even stack attack. Stack attack could be annoying. I don't think I want to run Focus Blast. I want to run Imprison more than anything. We already have close combat on a Scavalier to 1v1, the Stack Attacka. So I'll run Imprison and Protect. Alright, uh, let's get into some testing. I'm interested to see how well this is going to work out. Hopefully uh, it'll actually be a decent team. But then again, I have I have very little hope for uh, for Hale in this format. Like, I, I want it to be good, but I don't, I don't expect it to be amazing. Okay, so we see a pretty good team here, actually. We should always get off our Aurora Veil, is the good part. But our Trick Room mode looks devastating to them. Look what they have for our Trick Room mode. I think I might go with sort of a hybrid option here. I could go Ninetales Arctazult on the lead, because I just want to I, I just want to do that so bad. Uh, we'll bring in Didi, though, and Reuniclus in the back. But how do I beat the Celestila? It's literally just Arctazult, so I have to use Arctazult really wisely here. I can't outspeed the Regieleki either. This is really scary. Well, we'll just go with it. Let's just see how it works out. I have to get a feel for the team real quick. Okay. So it's pretty clear he's going to fake out the Ninetales here. I'll go ahead and set up my Aurora Veil and bring in the Ndidi to prevent that. Oh, as he decides not to. Gets off a reflect. Makes sense, I guess. Parting shots the Ndidi because he's er, cause he was concerned about the Arctazult. Um, and while Landris is in a position where he could max Rockfall after, you know, he goes for the for the move that lets him actually outspeed me. Do you think he's gonna light screen? I think he has to light screen, actually. I'll throw off a raw blizzard. I know it's not going to KO, but I'll also protect here, and then I can go for Trick Room and try to win with Reuniclus. Just throw off the raw blizzard. There's the Electro Web. Behind Veil, I should live any hit from the Landris. As he tries to U-turn, I'm just going to KO him. Oh, that is Assault Vest Landris. Okay. That's fine, though. The chip damage is really good. I feel pretty comfortable just throwing off a Moonblast on the Regia Leki, expecting... Yeah, expecting for the landers to switch out here. Or even, I could just throw off another blizzard and helping hand it. I'll just go for that. Because he's going to he's gonna U-turn on my Ndidi. Yeah, and this should be doing a lot to the Aleki. Of course Incineroar comes in, though. Get some nice chip damage. And they're still taking the hail damage. That's what really matters here. That's the big thing. Uh, let me go ahead and, I mean, once again, they can't, I mean, they could try to switch in their Finny and Fake Out. They can't Fake Out the Ninetales here, though, so I'll just Blizzard to try to get rid of the Aleki, because I don't think Ninetales is essential to winning, or maybe it is. Maybe it is essential. I could follow me here and live the hit. I just don't want to get Flare Blitzed. There's the Electro Web. Indeed, he should always take this. And he'll go down to Hail here as he snarls. That's fine. That's fine. And while my speed is down, I can try to set up Trick Room. Or even just win with Arctazold if I'm careful enough. I think Landra should come in here. Ooh, Celesteela. Okay, so Celesteela is probably going to Dynamax. Do I want the Trick Room? <sighs> Depends if they're... 
It depends if they were light clay. They might have been sash. What I can do here is go Reuniclus and protect. And if I can get into a situation where... Yeah, because they Dynamax here, they should Steel Spike. Tell me that you weren't light clay, because I can win. They were light clay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I know how I can possibly win, but it's not going to be easy at all. <laughs> like, it's going to be really, really difficult. You go for the protect here. And I think I have to double protect. Reuniclus should never go down here. He doesn't call the protect. He gets a crit, though, which definitely mattered. 100% mattered right there. Dang, that's annoying. Because I would have lived that and I could saw him out a little bit longer. Hmm. Send him the Ninetales. I think my play... Did I get my double protect? I did not. I can go for a protect here. And then I have to kind of helping hand the Arc Desult to win. We'll go, we'll th I'll just throw off a Rob Lizard and hope, I, and hope I can freeze it. Get a regular protect here. And then I just have to helping hand Bolt Beak and hope for the best. Yeah, that crit was a little bit annoying because then I wouldn't have to sack my Ninetales. I could just Reuniclus go down the next turn. Ah, uh, well played. Well played. Here's what I'm going to do. So, he's obviously a special attacker, just judging by the fact that he went for the, um, what's it called? Judging by the fact that he has special attack boosts from uh, his beast boost. I'll go for a max hailstorm into the Celesteela here, and follow me. I definitely don't win this unless I crit. But the reason I'm max hailstorming here is because it allows me the, the speed to possibly beat Landris if it comes back in. And the Reflect does run out next turn. Flash Cannon. Is there Life Orb? Should have seen that, actually. And they're still taking Hail Damage. My Roar Veil wears off, and their Defense, <laughs> their Reflect wears off. I have to go for a Max Lightning here and just hope for the best. He's obviously going to switch out to the Incineroar. I need a crit to win anyways, though. Come on, baby, crit. Ah, nope. No good. Flash Cannon's going to knock me out, and... There's still one more turn of hail. I can technically max guard here and let the Celesteela go down. Alright. Rock slide, don't fail me now. Okay, good game. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I don't have too much hope for uh for hail in the format, but that, that was a lot closer than I expected it to be. He was AFK. I'll just I'll just edit that previous video out or the previous clip out because he was AFK. So, all right. Uh, this looks like another very difficult matchup, but their Trick Room matchup is really poor here, and I think I can get it off pretty reliably. We'll go Reuniclus and Didi. Uh, in the back, Glacier and a Scavalier does not look bad at all. I wish I had a Fire type. I really wish I had a fire type here, but unfortunately fire types and uh, and ice types, they share a decent amount of weaknesses. And by that, I, I just mean rock, but rock's so present that it's like, it's, it's it actually matters. GLHF. Bro, if this guy's AFK too, okay, good. <laughs> I was going to be like, I, I don't want to just sit here and wait. 
Alright, uh, they have no way of stopping my trick room here, which is really nice, so I'll just go for it and follow me. Yeah, the trick room's always guaranteed here. Especially since he's uh, prankster tornadoes. I guess here he could probably just stay in with the Metagross, but if he Dynamaxes, I'd say that's a pretty big throw. Okay, yeah, he Dynamaxes. Did he Tailwind? He Brutal Swinged, <laughs> but it's going to get redirected, and I'm honestly not in a terrible position here. Because like I said, a Scavalier kind of walls this thing. I'll go ahead and I'll just throw off an Expanding Force. And because I already... He already has his... Um, yeah, he already has his Weakness Policy Boost. So there's really no reason not to throw off a Max Quake on his on his Metagross here. It should two-shot after Expanding Force. Just because Life Orb Expanding Force is so strong. Or maybe not. I guess his Max Quake could be an issue. No, that, that still does a decent chunk. Oh, wow, this thing is disgustingly bulky. I definitely underestimated that. There's the Brutal Swing. Alright, Glacier, your time to shine has come. I need you to crit. Which is stronger? I guess High Horsepower Mac Quake is still my best play. Oh my god, we lost. Bro. Bro. There's no way we win this. Uh, I can try to max Knuckle for a KO, and that's like my best bet. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. If he doesn't have Incineroar, there's a chance. If I had... <laughs> if, if I had Fell Stinger, I could maybe reverse sweep, but I don't see it happening. Let me go for my drill run here. His Icy Wind did absolutely nothing. I have a lot of special defense. I don't know why you're Icy Winding. If you have a flying move, that does more. Maybe he's trying to go for Electro Ball with a Leki. I think I still live that. Oh, that does so much. Alright, he wasn't Sash. There's the Urshifu. Okay, well, you could have done that earlier, bud. Let me go for close combat and hope that I can take a brutal... F <laughs> Not a brutal swing. What was it called? The, uh... The crit move. You're Focus Sash on that, right? Or maybe it's the Tornadus. Yeah, there's the Wicked Blow. I don't know why you didn't do that earlier. Good game. I want one win with Hail. Just give me one, dude. Okay, why have we, like, only faced Regieleki so far? Regieleki just spits on hail. Luckily, though, if he doesn't lead off Regieleki, we have a chance. If he does, oh well, I guess. <laughs> we're bringing Didi and uh, Reuniclus in the back. I mean, what would he even lead here? He has to lead off a of Leki, right? But even if he does, I can live with that. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. Probably not. Let me turn on the timer. Alright, there we go. Amoongus, Cinderace. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Because you can't reset the, the hail or anything. Cinderace might get two shot by this. He's probably going to fall. No, because he has to spore, right? But there are also two ice types here. Whatever, I'll go for Blizzard. I could Blizzard and Ice School Crash, but I kind of want to get rid of this Cinderace.
Maybe I'll just go for Veil. I'll Veil and Crash. Okay, he protects. Okay, well, I guess I'm dumb. I guess I am dumb. 142, 188. No, not it. This is not it. Protect here, go into the Ndidi. Shout out to Ninetales. Max HP behind Veil still took 88%. Gotta love that. Tell me I predicted correctly here. I did not. I did not predict correctly. Um, I have to protect here and then try to get off a Trick Room. Go for a Moonblast into the Aleki and protect. Because I might be able to Reverse Sweep with my Reuniclus. It's the Electro Web. It's going to be close. Go Reuniclus, Trick Room up, follow me. I have to not get KO'd by this Aleki, which I think I'm safe from, because indeed he's pretty bulky and behind Veil. And he also can't set up Terrain unless he brought the Finny. Which I'm not certain if he would bring in this matchup. Maybe. Actually, I, I would have brought the Finny too. But even then, the Trick Room's still my better option. Oh, we live. There's the Pyro Ball. Trick Room off. It is time. It is time. Let me go for this Expanding Force to knock out the Cinderace. Um, and I'll also just go for an Ice School Crash into it. And the reason I'm Ice School Crashing into the Cinderace as well is... Or why am I Ice School Crashing? Let me Expanding Force and go for a Bolt Beak into it. And the reason I'm doing this is because if the um, Tapu Fini does come in, those two moves should do it. Spanning Force one-shots you. Bolt Beak one-shots you. Okay. Okay, I think this is my one win I'm going to get. This is the one win I'm going to get playing this team. This is actually very difficult. <laughs> oh, I wish I was Overcoat. He has to attack with the um, Amoongus. He has to Spore, I think. My win con here. He just left. Did he just leave? Let me protect. I have to win the speed tie. 31, 31, I'll just go for it. Just expanding force. Ice go crash as well. That's my win count, but I think we just win now. I think we just win now, unless he comes back and does something crazy. Okay, he joined. Hold on, I'm scared. So I'm going to expanding force. Yeah, I'll just ice go crash. Okay, cool, I made the right call. Made the right call. Um, Cause now, I protect. I Dynamax to avoid dying. <laughs> there are two turns of Trick Room, so the first turn I'm gonna try to, gonna try to Max Hailstorm, I guess. No, I always Expanding Force. Okay, cool, I wake up. GG, we got the win. And guess what? Thematically appropriate. Guess what wins us the game? Right here. The hail. The hail. We'll get one more, but I think that's like the only win I'm going to get today. I think that's actually the only win I'm going to get. Alright, this one might not be too difficult. <sighs> Keep facing Aleki. Aleki on lead is so bad for hail. Because our abuser is only just fast enough for Dragapult. I still think the soft Trick Room option in the back is a good play. Bring Reuniclus. And Ndidi. Or actually, no, I have to go hard Trick Room on lead. Yeah, I just go, I go hard Trick Room here. There's no other way out of this. Okay. So I'm guaranteed my Trick Room here. Is the Volt Switch probably into Amoongus? He's Life Orb, okay, interesting. 
All right. And... I mean, I threatened the Glacier with a KO. Or I threatened uh, Amoongus with a KO here. I can Expanding Force and hope they is not Focus Sash Urshifu. I'll max Knuckle into it. That's fine, he didn't spore into this thing. Get rid of you. We still have a couple of uh, turns to try to abuse the Trick Room. If I can get a turn one wake up, I can win. There's the Metagross. What's my win con here? I get double in the Metagross. That's really it. I have to double the Metagross. Alright, we woke up. Max Quake. Can I crit this drill run? Because I know he's weakness policy. Yeah, there it is. No crit. Steel spikes the Escavalier. Hold up, we can win. Wicked blows the Escavalier. Okay, no, we do not win. Because <laughs> he didn't give me my, my weakness policy there. Um, How do I win this? Because even if he... Even if he attacks me here, I just lose. Yeah, I thought about reading it. it wasn't worth it. Pokemon, give me the crit. No, all right, good game. Well, like I said, guys, I don't have too much hope for Hale. Uh, I, I don't know if this could be optimized. I mean, of course it can be optimized further, but I don't know if it can be optimized to a point where it's like completely viable. That's really up to you guys. If you guys want to send me some hail teams as rental codes, do, uh, do me a favor. Comment them down below. I'll try them out on my Boost to the Top series. Uh, but that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment down below if you did. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.